Mad Max is we are the Mutant Boo. This is Arnold 2015. It's just getting started. We're early on Friday at Big, Big Manuel Romero. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up? How are you guys? Mutant Nation here. Manuel Romero, IFBB. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. I was just telling you, you gained some weight. I saw you in the next for a second. You, you got yeah, de definitely. Okay. I, de I did. Um, I just, you know, taking my supplements as I have to do it. Um, of course, I'm getting ready to compete in the so I'm the Chicago Pro, July 2nd. Awesome. Just feeling good in the Mutant family. Everything's going well. Yeah, you fit right in with the Mutant, dude. <laughs> yeah, fit one, 290 pounds already. So oh, really? let's see what happens. Wow. I just want to like make sure like this preparation is just go to win the show. Oh, my yeah. first professional show winner. So let's see what happens. Follow me, my Instagram, MR Manuel Romero. guys always take the time off just to get ready for the Olympia and uh, I'm always jumping to a bunch of shows so I just want to see what it's feel like just to get ready yeah just yeah. for the show yeah yeah I think it's gonna be good for you not so much for the wallet as you win a lot <laughs> but it's gonna be good for the body I think you're gonna make a lot of progress yes. and uh, you only have two slots left now so you gotta do everything you can, right? You gotta be strong. So. You know, it's like one of those things where you're standing at the door, yeah. and um, you already know what's behind the door. That's right. So, you know, we just kind of fell you know, the past couple of years, one and two. Yeah, you wait to, you wait to yourself to see what's gonna happen. I want to see what's around. behind the door. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Very excited, Sean. Thanks for hey, talking thank to us a minute. Brad? What's going on? So, great year last year. When are you gonna see, when am I gonna see you on the Arnold stage? Uh, I'm just trying to make it up to that driveway to get to the door. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna shoot for Vancouver, I think. Okay. End of July, and then uh, you know there's four shows in August. So whatever I gotta do to get to the Olympia, I'm just gonna keep competing and uh, hopefully be on the stage out there. So think, that's the goals. Uh, do you think Do you think that maybe next year at the Arnold uh, would be a possibility? Would I would love to do the Arnold. I think you, you should. Know? Yeah. So I'm predicting Brad Road. Andrew Crazy. Olympia, top 10. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. So, yeah, I mean, obviously the Arnold making the Olympias is, you know, a dream of every bodybuilder. So, but I think if I come to the Arnold, I, I want to be competitive. So if it happens next year or the year after, yeah, we'll see. It depends on how late I compete next year, too. So I, I got some crazy ambitions this year of uh, pretty much doing everything post-Olympia as well. So. Awesome. Top 10 at the Olympia. You know, so, I like to say that you know you you two seem really close, your training partner and everything. But 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 this guy over here, which is third in the world, he's also a huge fan of yours. He's a, he's a, he believes in you a lot. I, I know behind closed door, I've heard stories that he's actually pushed you into competing into shows, you know, and helped you in, in many many ways. I think it's really cool to see that these days to have not only competitors but you know training partners and people that are almost like brothers. And, they're big supporter in Korea. I think that's, that says a lot about John. I mean, I think it's huge. You know, you, everybody has the stereotypes of bodybuilding where everybody's so selfish. Yeah. And, you know, he's, he's truly a selfless person. And, you know, I have a great team, you know, between Charles and Aceto and him. And so, you know, it's a support system I need because, you know, I get down to myself a lot. And, it, and it's tough to build up the confidence when you do train with some of the best in the world. Yeah. So when they're behind you, pushing you and, and, and you know, putting their confidence in you and believing in you, in you, yeah. you know, it, it does help a lot to push a little harder. Awesome. So. Thanks Very for talking fortunate. to us, you guys. You guys are great. Thank we'll you, guys. We'll keep following you guys. Yes, Sean, you're going to be coming. And uh, hopefully some videos coming. All right? Thank sure. you, guys.